I want to show you uh, some of the cool ways to use uh, the date function in, uh, in Access. It's a very common function. A lot of people use it. It's basically a way for you to get today's date. And uh, what you can do here is you can say, um, I can basically type in the column today. And I want to fill it with date. Now when I do that, it's basically going to give me today's date, August 19, 2004. And uh, what I can do is I can add on some functionality to that and say 90 days ago. And if I type in 90 days ago and I type in date and I can say date minus 91, it should be 90 days ago. And that's 5-20-2004 is 90 days ago. And again, add more functionality. Last year, date minus 366 is last year. So August 19, 2003 was last year. Now what, what can you do with this? Here I'll show you. So let's say we have a query here and we want to basically get all the invoices that came in less than 90 days ago. Okay. Now I could just hard code in 05 uh, 20 2004 and say this is 90 days ago but uh, if we have to re report on this every day or every week and we want to make it dynamic we don't want to hard code this in so what we can do is we can very simply use the date function here uh, minus 91 and we can just basically say this is it and once we've built this query uh, it'll update every day and you can run this every day and it'll be accurate another cool thing you can do is you can actually create a table called dates and fill it with just field names and say the field name for today 90 days ago 180 days last year and create uh, the data type as uh, date time and in the default value of today it'll be date in default that value of 90 days ago will be 91 180 days ago will be 181 and last year will be uh, date minus 366 now if we open it up there's no real data in here all it is is just default values and ba but basically what you have is you have a basically a hard-coded uh, table that has information inside of the table that's dynamic so tomorrow I'll open this table up and it will say 820 and 521 221 and 820 2003 so what you can do now is you have this table that, that changes every day and instead of saying date I can say uh, in select 90 days ago from the dates table and it's the same thing or I can say uh, last year it's the same thing basically saying the invoice date has to be the same as uh, the field last year from date and the field from last year from date is basically 8 19 2003 uh, so that's another cool way to use uh, this date function another way to use it is you can combine it with the format function to extract a, 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 a bit of information about the date for example I can say um, today's month and today's month is basically format date month and I want to make it a, a three digit month or a three, three, um, three character month so if I run that August that's today's month okay or I could say today's week I'll copy this over week and I play the week and that's week 34 today and that's the 34th week of this year and I can change this to today's quarter today's year and uh, all these particular um, combinations of characters and basically what it does is it changes uh, that date to a string that represents whatever information you want about that date so uh, if you have a list of invoice dates and you want to see uh, and you want to fill in invoice month for example uh, you have invoice dates and the invoice month is empty you can update do an update table and say invoice month I want to update to format invoice date 
and the three character month. So now, what you have here is when you update it, you'll have if invoice date is May 20th, 2004, you'll have invoice month as being MAY. And that's how you use the dates uh, function and the format function together.